Can we have a round of applause, please, for Mark? Thank you. Thank you. Have you ever struggled to store your business-related documents in the right file or electronic file? We have changed much how people could access those documents with electronic files. We have changed little how they could store business-related documents in the right file. He has to open the exactly right file to drag and drop it in there. And I will present today a solution that will change this dramatically. My name is Mark Volkwarz and I'm in product management, as you already know, uh, responsible for business solutions. And I will get in contact with you. I, I would like to talk with you about what we call fast starters, your ideas for new fast starters. Get feedback for what we present today. So use the Q&A se session at the end of this presentation. Use pauses here at the summit or get to me and let us talk after the summit. I live in a small town south of Hamburg with roughly 40,000 inhabitants. In my neighborhood, we have a lot of people with dogs, and uh, I love dogs. I grew up with them. One of this neighbor is, interestingly, a tall man, like Gregor Neely, with a fantastic, powerful dog. And I know about him that he works at a SAR customer in the sales department. And in one of the last weeks, I met him and asked him, Hartmut, how do you work with business-related documents? He answered in a silent voice, looked down to me and said, I hardly would like to talk about this. I have all of them locally on my computer. I have so much to do, I could, couldn't process them. And I said, that's exactly what we want to target with the new solution. Let me talk about this. Think about a drop zone in a web browser where you can drag and drop all your business-related documents. And you have nothing more to do. The magic began in the background. Documents will be classified, as we have seen here, extracted, we will find the right contact, we store the document in the right electronic file. And only if this system will have some troubles, if you have to add a little data, you will get feedback from the system. You have nothing more to do than drag and drop these documents, all documents, in this drop zone. And this is what we introduce as AI-powered fast starters. I will talk about two different questions during my talk. The first one, and I think you already have seen a lot about this, what are fast starters? Is someone here that could tell me in, in a few words what he has taken home from these presentations here? Fast starters are more or less small business solutions. Not that big like human resources or contract lifecycle management, but small business solutions for different departments where you can test drive DOCSIS, where you can hand over with a few clicks a system that your business users could test DOCSIS to talk with you on the same level what they want to have differently, or that they were convinced that this is exactly what they need. It's a growing library. We add more and more fast starters to it, and this is why I want to talk with you, to get feedback what we have to add to the system. 
they work with three simple steps. So first of it, you have to select one of the fast starters in the business studio. So you go in the library, filter with the department, or write down a search text, for example, for the sales, like my customer in my town, and select the customer workspace. Read the full description and press import. I've speed up this process here for the video, but actually this runs in two to three minutes. And then the whole environment to store customer-related documents is ready to test. You will get a notification when it's ready. And then we can go to the second step. And this is not what we have seen yesterday at Ingo's presentation to modify the dialog because you didn't got feedback from your users. But give them access rights. Hand over the system. So still in the business studio, switch to the group assignment, filter for customer the same text you have used to find the fast data and drag and drop your users in, into the system. That's all. Now this user has rights to use this customer workspace. And the last step is share these credentials. Share the URL to Doxus WebCube. Let the user work with it and test it, how Doxus behaves, how it is to create with a few simple clicks a customer workspace to store your documents in it. So click Create, open it again. It's a very nice feature. So you are ready to store the documents. But still, we are drag and drop. We love this feature, but it's not the future I want to show. So, the second question is, what does AI power mean? And I think Mark Roll has shown a lot about this. What does AI power mean? And what is the option? But he talked a lot about prompt engineering and all those things you could do or have to do to work with AI. And this is what we introduced or included into this package as AI-powered fast data. We have done the prompt engineering. We have already seen the structure where we want to store the documents by the base fast data, customer, opportunity, sales order, workspaces. And this is what Hartmut has to work with. When we look back, his problem why he doesn't store documents in the system, that he has in the sales area these three workspaces maybe, but he has a lot of customers, so it's not three, it's 100 or 300 workspaces. So a lot of steps to get the right workspace open to file a document. And that's what we change. So we have added a drop zone or a dashboard. And uh, I talk here with the use case for sales. In the first version, we already have a second set of fast data for the purchase department. So think about if you're in, in the purchase department, it works directly for you as well. And this dashboard adds a drop zone, the finer the drop zone I've talked about, but also a personal work basket. Mark has told us, let us keep the human in the loop. So when the system doesn't process everything, we notify directly near to the drop zone, the user help us. Uh, just add a few things to, to finalize the processing. And below this is what we have 
uh, done with the prompt engineering, but it's not only prompt engineering. It has a lot to do with doxes, because we want to know in a business document what is the external partner. So we have a global value list with your company, with your company name, so the system will recognize the other one on the, on the documents. Uh, we want to query the system. We want to know if it's targeting a customer or opportunity or sales order workspace. All these things are part working in the whole solution, not only with a large language model, but also with the um, DOCSIS environment. Yeah, and uh, as I said, uh, keep the human in the loop just with the work basket. At, at the end, this is a whole process that runs across the different steps and uh, just the manual work by a user is one of the tasks in the process. And this is how it looks like. Very simple. I think when we finalize this, it will even give a process when you drag and drop those documents into it. This is a few weeks old, this uh, system. Uh, I have changed a little one. I've turned on one option in this um, that we no get notified about every process document. So during your test, you want to review what the system uh, has done. So not only in failure, but also every of the documents will be shown in the task list now. So you drag and drop them. We start the processing. And after that, we see the processing or the final results in this list. We see already the business partners here, as you will see on the document, William Chapner Enterprise. We see some notification or information on the dialogue. But the most important thing, we directly see where it is linked to. It is a general information because it's a notification about an address change. So I expect to have it in the customer workspace. And so this system works. Normally, you won't see this processing. You have nothing more to do than drag and drop. And the good news is, these are also fast starters. So, we can do the same. We can filter uh, this. As you see here, we have this new filter in the next version of the Business Studio in the library, AI-powered. So, um, this add-ons works in, as an add-on for the base fast starters, customer opportunity, or purchase order, supplier, all these things will be added with AI power. Yeah, and uh, as I've shown before, and this is nearly real time because it's a small package we import here, you have to do only one thing after it. And as I mentioned, when you want to have a good processing, you have to add your own customer name to this global value list. And then it's all. You don't have to have rights because the rights are from the base package, from the customer opportunity workspace, as we have got the knowledge about Doxy that even uses the same rights, and it's the same here. I have Given my whole presentation the subtitle, Multiply Your Business Value. And I think you already have a clue, clue what this is all about. When we look into the business value over time, we have two aspects using fast starters. And the first one is working with the developers. So, I've even named the citizen developers. We think that business users with IT knowledge could work with this, with the business studio, and import fast starters and think about this. But at the end, we have a long, long time where end users. Stork talked about 30 years 
That's exactly what we expect the next 10 years or even more, the end users work with AI-powered features. And the first part of a business value is use of fast starters in your project. You um, limit the project time, you shorten the project time. It's not totally no, a few hours, still you will work and customize the solution, you add some properties or add some fields you want to have in this. But the main technical details are available with the fast starters. And you build AI-powered DOCSIS solutions out of this. So we have your project work. And the project work could be uh, shortened uh, when we, when we uh, want to, to reach the first business value. And we have your use of the solution. And that's the even bigger business value for you. And this is why I think using fast starters and adding AI-powered fast starters to it will multiply your business value. And when we look about the project work over time, it is very simple. We have heard a lot about DOCSIS and AI. So subscribe to DOCSIS. The DOCSIS ICI license is a, sub, is a requirement for it. And license the smart bridge for AI. So you can interface with the large language models. Use fast starters to even speed up your process uh, during the project work. Add your own or adapt them to your own needs. As I said, focus on your business requirements, not on technical details. And go to an early test. Go into an early productive use to provide the business value for your end users. This is true for the normal fast starters, but even more um, important for AI-powered fast starters, I think. My summary for today. We have the first step use those fast starters, adapt them to your individual needs, add the AI-powered add-ons to them, make the whole project out of it, talk with your business users what they really need when they have reviewed all those things you have already provided, and multiply your business value with it. I'm open to your questions. It's hard to see from here. No questions. I don't believe this. <laughs> so what, what I would propose we do is uh, thank you for another fantastic session. I, I, have, okay. I have one. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I have one question. He's, he's not done with you yet. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I have one question, and this is when will you multiply your business value? Oh, <laughs> a <laughs> wonderful a challenge. Please do approach uh, Mark over lunch. You can tell how passionate he is for this subject, but also you started with a real invitation. He wants to hear from you. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, Mark. Thank well you. done. Thank you.